Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be using uh, these two colours which are Cherry Petals and Lilac You A Lot from Madame Glam. And we're going to be doing some nice swirl designs today. So I know a lot of people struggle with swirls. So what I'm hoping to do is um, sh show you a sort of an easier way of doing them and making them a little bit more salon viable because they don't take as long. So I'm just going to start off uh, doing the nail. So I'm doing a vertical ombre on this one. And there we go with more fluff. <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? So uh, I'll just uh, smooth them out a little bit. Got rid of all that fluff now. And then we'll go in with the second coat shortly. And as you know, they always look better once the second coat's on the ombres. So I'm going to be doing a design over these. So I'm not particularly overly bothered, you know, if they're not exactly perfect. Just so you've got a nice blend of the two colours there. So I'm just applying the lilac one. And then we'll just start um, going down with the brush, just teasing the product down. And remember, keep your brush turning because um, otherwise it will sort of, uh, you'll transfer the colours that you don't want totally onto the other side. So once I've uh, finished with that, we'll put, put that in the lamp for a full cure. And then I'm just going to uh, put a velvet matte top coat on. And that's from Madame Glam also. And a nice easy way of doing them is by using a stamp and plate. So I've got this one. Um, I think, it, yeah, Mo Moira, you can see up there in the top corner. So I'm just putting the white gel paint on and I just like to smooth it in, then I'll scrape it away and then just roll my jelly stamper across, just getting away from that bit of paint there. And now we're just ready to stamp that onto the nail. And I'm just going in at a slight angle. Now, I love these, but I do like the swirls to stand out a little bit more. So as you could see how quick that was. And all I'm going to do is just follow the, you know, the patterns round, the little swirl designs. And if they're not exact, don't, honestly, don't worry, because it'll just give it that more little bit of... Um, a 3D effect and because I'm using a no wipe um oh gel paint <laughs> um it's got no sticky layer so yeah once that's cured that that's the nail done so I'm just going in on the top one now so as you can see I did put two there um and once I'm happy I'll get that in the lamp and I'll give that a cure and yeah, I, ju I just think this is a, you know, a real easy way of getting these gorgeous designs, um, especially if you struggle. I, I love doing the swirls freehand, but, you know, sometimes they do take a long time, you know. Um, so this way you're getting the, the lovely effect, but in less than half the time. So I'll carry on just finishing that off. Um, and I do cure slightly in between. And now I'm just going to add a few little lines of my own just to, you you know, just to bring the pattern more, more together. So I'm just showing you there again, just sweeping that round, popping another one, adding on to it. And then bringing it out again. And on these, I'm just using the very tip of my brush because the, the more of the tip of the brush you use, then the finer your, your lines are going to be. So it just takes, you know, quite a bit of practice. But honestly, what, once you get the hang of it, they, they are quite easy. And I'm also going to do a little bit of lattice work on this. So um, our lovely Natalie Mugridge, um, she she done a gorgeous set. I don't, I don't know if she put them on YouTube, but they, they're on her Facebook. And it was from a, a workshop that Rachel Wilders did. And it just fills, you know, some of those negative spaces in. Um, so I'll show you those on, in a minute. And they do look really effective. So once I've finished with those little ones, I'm just going to go in now. I've got very little product on the brush. And I'm just putting some nice thin lines that way. Just going to fill that space in. 
and then we'll go across the other way and again just keep using the tip of your brush so you don't want that bead on the end of it you want it smooth you can always go in and add extra gel paint if you need to and i think that just gives an absolutely gorgeous effect and again it fills the nail up but it's still really in keeping with the design and i'm just going to add a few little dots now with my uh, just a small dot and tool i don't want them too large and when I'm happy, we'll pop that in the lamp for a full cure, which is 60 seconds for the gel paint. So that's that one. Now I've done the other nail, which you can see is the reverse, what I call the mirror image one. And I've done the lattice work the same down there. I I always like to, uh, if I'm doing a set that are quite intricate like this, I like two nails that actually mirror each other. I just think it gives a really ni nice effect. And now moving on to the next design, I'm going to do another ombre. Uh, so I've just added the lilac and now I'm going in with the cherry petals. I'm just going to buff that colour up to the other one and then just pop it down the nail. And then we'll just start with the blend. So um, I'm going to use my ombre brush in a minute. <laughs> there we go. Going to tick all the colours together and then just start sweeping uh, from side to side just getting that blend nice the, these two colors blend together absolutely beautifully they're, they're, they're really nice and i do clean my brush off in between and especially now see there it's all gone because uh, i'm going to start like picking up some of the lilac then bringing it down into the cherry petals so i'll probably uh oh no i was happy with that so i'm just carrying on now for the second coat so exactly the same process i'm, I'm absolutely loving it uh, loving the ombres at the minute i think they look uh you know for spring and summer um that yeah they're just gorgeous and so, some of the colors you can blend together are absolutely beautiful but i i just felt like doing a, a lilac set i don't do a lot and yet it's it's an absolutely lovely color so i'm carrying on blending that in then once I'm happy with it, I'll pop it in for a cure. And then again, we're going to velvet mat these ones. So I, I just find that the, you know, these designs, they, oh, there's those bits again, get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, these designs, I think they always look really nice over a mat because I don't know, I think that it, I think it just um, makes the design pop a little bit more. So there we are up to now with the nails and um, I absolutely love these colours together. I think they're looking really pretty. Now I'm going to blend the two colours together um, for the next nail. I'm just adding a little bit more of the lilac there until I get the colour that I actually want because I, I just wanted them to be slight, you know, slightly different but obviously to to match him with what i've already used and that that's the easiest way to do it rather than looking for another gel polish that matches yeah just just blend your colors together and you've got a nice little custom color there so i'll pop that in the lamp for a cure now and then i'll just go in with a second coat and i'm just using a gel brush there as you can see just to um apply that and i I done one a bit paler and one a bit darker, you know, but still the 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 both sort of custom blends, and I'm just going to show you the two of them. So there's not much difference, but you can see one's got m a little bit more of the lilac tone in it. And on this one, I'm just going in with a layer of base, and I'm going to add some of our gorgeous mystical mylar from Nail Sugar. And you can get 10% off and I will leave the code in the description box. And don't forget, you can also get 30% off any Madame Glam products and use the code Elaine30. I'll also leave that there for you as well. So I've just filled the nail, not overly, but there's plenty of uh, mylar on that. And I'm just going to go in with another layer of base. I'll cure that and then I'll finish that off with a no white top. So once I've done that and cured it, I'm then going to just buff the nail ju just with a buff and block and get that really smooth because we don't, you know, 
even though it's the micro mylar, sometimes you do get some, you know, little bits. And I, I just want them nice and smooth, especially when you're putting a matte top coat because you will see every little every little bump <laughs> so i'm going in again now with a layer of top and well it's the matte again and as you can see now those two nails look absolutely gorgeous i love the uh the my, my well it's mystical mylar yeah i absolutely love that matte top coated now this flower again i've stamped it so any of you that struggle you know doing the florals honestly this is the easiest way and then i'm just gonna fill that in so i'm just trying to get the shape of some nice little petals in there and the good thing with using the stamper first is you know the the petals are uniform properly so you know you don't you don't have to overthink it and yet yeah, so I'm, ju I'm just using can you see the the side of the brush and just sort of bringing it down and this brush, it's it's just a cheap one I got in a set, but it's really nice, you know, for this type of work. And once I've cured that, I'm now just going round the edges just, just to define some of the outside edges with the white gel paint. So another nice, easy, easy design that's not, you know, not going to take too too long to do. Um, so... When I've done this, I will um, add a little bit more detail onto this particular nail. And I'm just going to do some nice little stems. So as you can see, I have the little blob on the brush there and that makes it thicker at the top and then just tilt it so you're using the tip again. And I'm just having them in like a little sweeping motion. And I'm going to add a couple of little leaves as well. I think leaves always look really pretty, don't they, with the flower. So I'll just add a couple more there. And then once I've done that, I'm going to add another couple of just little fine lines coming off that main one. Um, there we go. Just nice little delicate ones, nothing, nothing too fancy. And once I've done that, I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. And then I will add a few little crystals onto it. Now, on this nail, I've already started. So, with my liner brush, I've just done a line right down the centre. And then I'm going to go right the way along with these little half circles. Now, unless you're really, really good, they're never going to be totally even. So, don't worry. Once they're done, it still, it still gives a really nice effect. So, uh, I, I think that's it. Sometimes doing line work, we strive for that perfection. But... Honestly, it doesn't work like that. So ju just do the best you can to, you know, keep them a similar size. So as you can see, I've used my dotting tool. I've just popped a little dot in between each one. And now I'm going in with some very fine lines. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to go around the edges. I've got a really small dotting tool for this. We don't want them too big. Then I've done more stamping on the other side and again i'm just going to follow those lines with the white gel paint and um, by doing this as well because when you do freehand obviously you know the design is more embossed whereas stamping it's a bit flatter to the nail so at least with this way going around those lines it brings it all together and then it all looks like it's hand painted and no one else will know but you. And I'm just putting a little blob in the centre of this flower. That's the Nail Chemie Totalis Gem Glue. I'm popping a little stone there. And I want a few little stones just, just like, you know, on, on the slants. <laughs> I couldn't think that. Uh, yeah, ju just slanted. Um, and I think I do end up adding a few more little random stones on that. But that's what it looks like up to now. And then coming up, here it is with the other stones. So I really hope you found this video useful and helpful. I absolutely love these designs. And I hope you do too. So anyway, I'd absolutely love it if you could like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And all take care of yourselves and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.